Ascaris lumbricoides, the commonly called as roundworm, it is a cosmopolitan distribution and a monogenic parasite, pseudocelomate and a digenetic parasite. It is mostly infected to the human beings and mostly we are frequently infected to the children's. Then <coughs> the structure of the parasite is goes to both the cylindrical of the body, it is we discussed a male, it is uh, discussed a female. The male one we consisting of anterior part there is a have a three fringe lips will be there, catnus lips. Catna lip there is a, have a small pore, the small pore we consisting of a mouth just below of the mouth we consideration as a excretory pore will be there. And uh, this uh, tail, male, the main important character is goes to the posterior part of a tail is goes to curved tail is present. Curved tail is very important character. Here there is a have a equal size of pineal setae will be there. The equal C, this pineal setae, we can help to the capillary setae. It is helps to the capillation phenomena. And here there is a have a aperture we call it as a cloacal aperture will be there. This is a characteristics of the male one. Next we are going to discuss about the female one. Female one is just uh, longer than the male one and it is also the cylindrical of the body. Anterior part of three lips, cadenet lips, we consisting of a mouth here and just below of the mouth there is a have a excretory pore will be there and just uh, one by third position of the body is consisting of a female genital pore and just behind of the part the consisting of a anus will be there. This is about the structure of the Ascaris lumbricoides. Let us go to where it is leaves. It is leaves into the basically in the small intestine of the human beings. Okay, it is infective stage is go to second stage of rhabdo deformed larva. Second stage of rhabdo deformed larva, it is infective stage of Ascaris lumbricoides.